Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is my review of the CCM Trigger 3D stick. Um, so firstly, sorry this is coming out a little bit later. I bought a bunch of sticks all at once, then I got a wrist injury so it was really hard to do a review when I had a, my wrist was kind of really sore and I couldn't really shoot. Um, so with that said, here is my review of the Trigger 3D. Now, the Trigger series of sticks has been my favorite stick since I used the very first uh, the Trigger ASY. Uh, my issue with the Trigger ASY was the blade kind of just exploded, the toe would break apart. CCM had issues with their blades back then. I feel like they kind of figured that out because I had no issues with the Trigger 2 and it was one of my favorite sticks. Trigger 3 is honestly kind of along the lines of that. So first of all, just because we're here, I'm going to talk about graphics package. Um, I find that they do small changes over time and I think both of these sticks look pretty good. I think the Trigger 3D is definitely a better looking stick than the uh, Trigger 2. I think the Trigger 2 was a huge step backwards going to like silver and kind of lowering the amount of green they use. Um, it was much more understated, but even then the Trigger 3D is kind of understated as well. I wish they went back to the green carbon, but aesthetics aren't that important when talking about sticks. One thing I do want to mention is I they have a little bit of raised gri grips right here. And I mean to talk about this more on sticks, but I kind of forget, honestly. I liked back when it was like raised squares throughout the whole stick. Now it's just kind of right here and I feel like now, yeah, your hand's there once in a while. I, f I really wish it was longer. Now, this is probably the sweet spot for this stick or where it's supposed to be because it's on both of these where it's a l little raised textures here. I really wish it was on the whole st stick or at least went down longer. I like that little bit of raised texture. It's just nice knowing where your stick is. Warrior does a really good job with their alpha and the QRL. Um, really nice feel of that because you kind of always get just an idea of where how much your sticks, your hand's going up and down the stick. But regardless, it's not a huge issue, um, but so we'll kind of move on from that. So one of the big, the thing about the trigger and the whole idea of the trigger is that it has a taper, but the taper is kind of concave all the way down. So you can see here where it's concave all the way down here. Um, I don't know if there's huge changes between these two sticks. I don't like to read marketing stuff because I want to try to be able to actually tell the differences between things. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, well, they changed the taper and it does this much more and generates this much power. If I don't feel it, I don't think it's really important to talk about. Same with like when people use different carbon fibers from one generation to the next. If I don't notice it, then I don't know if it's really like worth talking about. So I don't, I can't actually tell you what the changes are between these two sticks. And that's one of my issues with CCM right now where they keep pumping out sticks like every year and but this stick, this Trigger 3D is one of my favorite sticks I've ever used and it's basically my main in the rotation. Um, my other being um, the SuperTax AS1. So, which you might ask why this one isn't here, just because the SuperTax is newer, that's all, I like to mix it up a bit. I love the feel of this stick. I love being able to pass, I love the blade. The blade feels very pingy and stiff. Um, it feels fantastic. I love what they did with, I love this blade. It feels very similar to the Trigger 2, which is a huge fan of. I shot these two sticks and actually the SuperTax AS1 like a minute before shooting this video. And I was like, when I shot the Trigger, I'm like, oh, Trigger 3D. I was like, oh, that feels good. Shot the Trigger 2 and I said, that feels like the same stick. I don't know the changes, what changes they made to these two. And I honestly can't, if you blindfolded me, I probably couldn't tell you which stick was which when shooting. So that's kind of my issue with CCM where this could have waited a year because it came out a year after the Trigger 2, could have waited a year and maybe made some change. But if you can't notice a difference in a blindfold and I use a ton of sticks, I think there's some issues there. Um, with that said, I like this stick a lot. Like I said about the blade, I love the blade feel. Passing with it, I have no issues. Um, some low kick sticks like the Covert Cure Edge, um, it feels kind of too whippy at 85 flex. Um, so when I make hard passes from like my end, from behind, below my red line to like uh, the red line of the ice or like long cross ice passes with the uh, QR edge, I kind of have to think about it and really have to worry about my hand position because it's either going to be a shot, but usually you're not like winding up for a shot. So you kind of, I whiff it. Um, with the Trigger 3D, I have that, I don't have that issue at all. I kind of just hold it, pass it and it's, a, and it's good. I don't really have to worry about becoming a shot. Um, it's always manageable for me and it's really consistent in that regards. I don't take that many slap shots. Um, 
it's this is kind of weird taking slap shots with because it is that lower kick stick. It's a very I feel it's a very very low kick stick and I, I don't take a lot of slap shots. You can do them, but I definitely feel that the super tacks are much better for that, much more comfortable with it. Um, it doesn't feel like it's it's whippy in the right spots where this one just certainly it, that's not its main use. Um, but that's this, that's about it for this review, which is kind of odd, just because um, there's not much to say besides it's kind of the same as the trigger too. The one thing too is I've had no issues with blade durability on these. I love the textured blade. I just feel it gives it a little bit more um, kind of nice feel to it. I the it feels very pingy. Had no, it's not breaking down on me. The toe's not blowing up on me. It's, everything has been great on this trigger 3D. So I'm a huge fan of it in that regards. Um, my only issue is I think they need to slow down their stick releases because I really can't tell a huge difference between the two. Would I recommend a Trigger 3D? I would definitely recommend one. If you like low kick sticks, I really think Triggers are really good sticks. CCM makes, I think, pretty solid ones. Um, my only issue is if you're buying a low kick stick and these are on the shelf and Trigger 2 is on sale, just buy the Trigger 2. It's way too similar. Um... So yeah, that's about it for this review. Um, I don't think it's worth an upgrade if your Trigger 2 is fine. And I don't think it's worth an upgrade over a Trigger 2 if they're both on the shelf next to each other. Just get what everyone's cheapest because they're both really solid sticks. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember, I hate to say this. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Helps me get gear like these so I can do reviews on and talk about them. Um, that, those links to do that are in the description, as well as if you make a purchase or don't make a purchase because of a set of gear, a piece of equipment, please, if you don't mind, reach out to manufacturer on social media or through email. Just mentioning that helps me get on their radar so I can get gear, so I can do demos and stuff like that, because um, all these are very expensive. So thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.